Gentlemen, let's talk about leather! Jackets, today I'm going to tell you where to go if you're looking for a dynamite leather jacket. I'm also going to show you some of my favorite ways to wear this most amazing men's style essential. Tis the season, it's that time of year again, when retailers once again bring out their leather jacket offerings for guys like us to drool over. The upside to leather jackets, you look like a sex machine. The downside is that they're expensive. Great leather jacket is like game changing in my personal opinion. It's it's very important though when you're going out and buying or investing in your first jacket to make sure that you stick to the classic style. Try and avoid super trendy styles or funky colors because it looks cool now, but in five years from and shit, in a year from now, you're going to be like, what the hell did I buy this thing for? Speaking of buying, let's now talk about the stores that have the best selection of great leather. For leather jacket shopping, you're really going to find that they're going to come in two different ranges, above $500 and below $500. The first store, pretty much everything is above $500, and that is Bloomingdale's. Incredible selection. One of the feature brands that I would highly recommend you checking out is a brand called All Saints. Now, the problem with All Saints is that A, they're kind of expensive, B, a lot of their styles are very trendy. Lots of zippers, lots of flaps, more distressed, not necessarily your classic styles, but super cool. Next store, however, is under $500, and that is Lucky Brand. You know them for their jeans, they also make great leather jackets. The jacket that I'm wearing came from the store Diesel, which is definitely above $500. I have ripped Diesel before. A lot of the stuff they sell, I feel, is overpriced crap but some of the stuff like their jackets I think are incredible. Next up is the department store Macy's. Great selection under 500 bucks. Another department store that has an insane selection but most of them are going to be right at that $500 or a little bit above is Nordstrom. And the last store I'm going to tell you about is where I got this brown leather jacket from two years ago. Um, the store is Coach. And I love this jacket. Everybody loves this jacket. The problem is they stopped making this specific color. Now their brown leather jacket, I really don't like. Um, the other downside is that it's probably the most expensive of all of the leather jackets that I mentioned. This jacket run you around a thousand bucks. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the best way, in my opinion, of how to wear your leather jacket, but then I'm gonna show you a few different modifications that you might not have thought of. So in my opinion, outfit number one, it just doesn't doesn't get any better. It's so simple, it's classic, it's amazing, it starts at the feet. It's all about bad boy boots, baby. I'm telling you, there is nothing that makes me feel cooler than a sick pair of boots. Add your favorite pair of denim, a cool belt, a simple t-shirt, black, white, gray, the Trinity, incredible leather jacket, and then just to pop it off, Maybe a great accessory like this Movement Watch, who is today's video sponsor. You guys have heard me talk about Movement before. Why? Because I'm a humongous watch slut. I love high-end watches, low-end watches, and affordable, cool-ass watches like Movement. Um, I've been in love with their simplistic designs. One of the issues, though, with Movement Watches up until now is that they came in one size. It was a 45 millimeter case, which for somebody like me who's got a small wrist, it looked a little bit big, but they have recently launched a new line of 40 millimeter watches. Check out these sexy bitches from the new Chrono 40 millimeter collection. Rose gold, white face, brown strap. Look at this watch. How dynamite is that? It's metal. It's got links. It's just super sexy. You've also got one white face, the oatmeal strap, and the one I'm wearing, which I'm like, yo, <laughs> I gotta wear this for this video. Um, it's almost got like a grayish taupe band. The black face, blue markers, 40 millimeter. Uh, yes, please. I thought this watch was sick, and it looked so good with my black leather jacket. Actually, I'm gonna wear the brown one for the next outfit. Um, guys, if you wanna check out any of the new collection, some of the old collection, or any of my personal picks, because I have actually curated um, a selection of movement watches that I personally think are dynamite. That special link is down in the description. And what you're also going to find if you hit that link is that you're going to get a special discount. Guys, a watch. It is critical and essential for every dude to have one. All right, so this next outfit is going to have some of you going, what are you doing, Alf? I thought you said never wear cargo pants. Not if you wear them like this. We're rocking chuckas, a pair of green cargo pants, camo belt, simple white t-shirt, leather jacket, and... 
That sweet ass watch. Not feeling the cargo pants? What about dark denim and monk straps? Will that work? Brown monks, dark jeans, simple white tee, brown leather jacket, and that amazing watch. Let's do one more look. We're on some black leather sneaks, those dynamite gray jeans. Three wolf moon shirt. What? <laughs> yes, even the three wolf moon shirt looks incredible underneath an amazing leather jacket. Relax! The shirt was a joke. <laughs> or was it?